Tuesday, voters go to the polls to decide key Columbia City Council seats. One race pits four candidates running for the at-large position that is currently held by Daniel Rickenman. Senior reporter Jack Kinsey says the incumbent has been taking some heavy fire from one opponent in particular. With only a few days to go before voters decide, Columbia City Council candidate Cameron Runyon turns up the heat. I'm afraid I'm here today to report that the specter of financial improprieties may also plague this project. Runyon, who is challenging incumbent Daniel Rickenman, called a news conference in Five Points Friday. His backdrop, the site of the high-rise project slated for the location where Kenny's Auto Repair once stood. Runyon suggesting Rickenman violated state law by voting on the project and later selling his Divine Street restaurant building to the former owner of the Kenny's property. This clearly does not pass the smell test. Rickenman immediately fired back. Last ditch effort in a political campaign three days before. Um, you know, I, I, I hate that the campaigning has gotten to this. Rickenman, trying for a second term as one of the council's at-large members, also faces opposition from two other candidates. Lee Walker heads the Chinese Cultural Center at USC. Namu Mohammed is an electrician and community activist. But Rickenman has a wide lead in fundraising. His campaign war chest over $110,000, more than twice the amount raised by Runyon, his closest challenger. Still, Rickenman has been forced to work harder than he might have originally expected. Despite being a businessman himself, Rickenman has some opposition in the business community and also from those who bristled when he helped introduce a resolution and, in fact, an ordinance that prevents discrimination against gays and transgenders in the city of Columbia. Live in the newsroom, Jack Kinsey, WIS News 10. And that is just